Hi everybody, it's Lexi Great Tech out on the links for Talk Golfing to Me. Dubs called me again this week. He's struggling with tempo, so I told him a little trick that I do out on the golf course to get me back on track. So when I'm out here playing, I want to remember that our swing has a two count back, one count down. So in my head, I like to go Tiger Woods. If you're by yourself, you could say it out loud. If you're with playing partners, probably should keep that on the reps. Let's give it a shot. Tiger Woods. Hi everybody, I'm Lexi Great Tech with Golf Today TV with another encore scenario, the lovely downhill lie. The shot that most golfers dread because they don't know how to hit it. So instead of taking our normal shot, our normal swing stance and everything, we need to tweak it a little bit. We need to have a different approach to this shot. So the first thing I do with a downhill lie is I make sure it's back in my stance. And the second thing I do, I like to choke down on my grip so I have a little more control. The most important piece of a downhill lie is making sure our shoulders are parallel to the slope. I see a lot of people go up to a downhill lie, take their normal shot, normal stance, and they hit a foot behind the ball. And that is not what we wanna do. We want to have our attack angle at the ball instead of a foot behind. So how we do that is make our shoulders parallel with the slope, which leads to a little more weight on the front foot. And then we can swing freely through the golf ball. So let's give it a go. Watch Golf Today TV for more. Hi everybody, I'm Lexi Great Tech with Golf Today TV. Today I have a drill based on takeaway. I see a lot of people who come to me with inside takeaways. It, they have this really aggressive inside swing which then creates that over the top slice. And they always come to me, how do I get rid of my slice? So this drill is for those who either take it way too far out or way too inside for their takeaway. The takeaway, that first six inches of your golf swing should be straight back. Not pushing out, not inside. So my drill is I put a tee about six inches away and I take my normal stance. I do this with about 10 swings. And I wanna make sure I hear my club hitting that tee. And when it hits that tee, I know it's time to cock my wrist. But I know if I hit the tee, I'm on plane. If I go inside, I miss it and I don't hear that sound. Instant feedback. I'm all about instant feedback with my drills. So let's give it a go. Watch Golf Today TV for more. Hi everybody, I'm Lexi Great Tech with Golf Today TV with another drill to fix those who have a slice. So for this one, to make sure we're really coming through the golf ball and not hanging back to leave it open and create that side spin, I want to get you thinking moving forward. Really, we want our whole weight and everything to go forward with our shot so it doesn't leak out to the right, a slice. So for this one, we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. I have people in my lessons take their normal swing, but when they follow through, they actually walk towards the hole. So for an example, this is what I want. And walking towards the hole will get you feeling, okay, I'm swinging through the ball, my hands are coming through, I'm not hanging back, which will cause that slice. So let's give it a go. different, but trust me, it will help. Watch Golf Today TV for more. Hey everybody, it's Swing Tip Tuesday. I'm your host, Lexi Graytech with iGolf. Today, we're gonna have some fun with some workout bands. If you have some laying around your house, 
the ball in your car just in case you go to the golf course. This drill is for those who straighten up their back leg at their backswing. We don't want to do that. We want to put the bands around our legs, right above our knees, and make sure we're keeping tension on the band. Immediately when we aren't and we straighten, you'll lose that tension. So you're going to push your knees out just a little bit, the whole swing. And I only want you to do this about 10 shots. Swing Tip Tuesday. Hi everybody, I'm Lexi Graytech with Golf Today TV with another fun drill you can do anywhere. All you need is a ball. It can be a kid's ball or any ball. And this is really good for your arms to make sure they are in place in the backswing. We really want them connected and all together. We don't want the chicken wing or the arms to get too long. We take out the ball if we feel that that is happening and we put it in between our chest. I like to put a little pressure and a little squeeze to make sure my arms are together. And I take it back and it helps me stay on plane. And then I swing through, but when you swing through, you can drop the ball, it doesn't matter. So put it in the middle. I make sure I have a little bit of a pinch and I'm ready to hit the shot. Watch Golf Today TV for more drills.